Hey everyone, um, welcome to the Raptor Trust remote office here in beautiful downtown my house. Uh, I have been uh, spending a lot of time with Raptor Trust founders Len and Diane Susie these past couple of days uh, talking about how things are going at the Raptor Trust and discussing the state of the world. Len doesn't have much to say that I can, uh, that I can share with you. I've got my binoculars at home and I've got my Sibley Field Guide, and I've been spending a lot of time sort of trying to get to know the birds in my backyard. Not really bird uh, watching in a traditional way where you sort of go out and, oh, look, chipping sparrow, oh, look, sharp shin hawk, and you kind of move on. I'm really just watching um, a couple of individual pairs of birds, trying to get to know the, the, the male and female of a pair of cardinals and, like, where the male likes to sit and how the female relates to him. And there's a pair of Carolina wrens that are nesting in a box over on the east side of the property and you know they like to hang out sort of under the deck and behind the grill like really just sort of focusing on uh kind of making friends with uh with my backyard neighbors um we're all getting used to this kind of work from home and school from home stuff uh we're we're managing that at the raptor trust too so i wanted to give you an update on what we're doing um, we're doing every possible thing we can to follow and even exceed the cdc guidelines. Um, we have a very, very safe sort of no contact admit protocol for people who are bringing in birds. We're asking them to fill out a form online, leave the box. Our staff can come out and take the bird from the box. It's, um, it is not uh, exactly business as usual over there, but for the protection of our staff and for the protection of people who are coming to the Raptor Trust for care for birds, um, We've really put some uh, very, very stringent protocols in place. Um, for the time being, we have no volunteers at the Raptor Trust. Again, in the interest of safety for everyone, um, we've sort of reduced our staff. We have no visitors. Obviously, we're closed to the public. You can't come and visit with our permanent resident birds right now. Um, but those permanent resident birds do need care, and we do have birds coming to the infirmary. Our medical staff is... Uh, is on the front lines of veterinary care right now. Um, you know, it's a, it's a challenging position to be in. Um, we have some, some difficulty sourcing the supplies we need, um, but we're dedicated to providing the care that we always have for as many birds as possible with the additional um, burden of really, really being very, very careful about how we interact um, with our colleagues and, uh, and any members of the public can drop off a bird. So our volunteers are currently uh, off the schedule, um, which leaves a lot more work for our, our staff to do. And I'm, uh, I'm so thankful that uh, everybody is doing the best they can. Our administrative team, including me, are working from home almost, almost exclusively. We've postponed a lot of our spring and summertime events, our May fundraiser that we always do at the Sterling Hotel each year, our Focus on Raptors event. We had a new Owl Palooza planned for April. All these things have been postponed indefinitely. I wish I could give you a date, but nobody can give you a date really for anything right now. So those things will be back on the schedule uh, when we can put them back on the schedule. Um, and really thanks to everybody who's continued to support. I know that these are difficult financial times and work times and employment times for a lot of people, um, but we're doing everything we can to keep our folks on the payroll and working. Um, and again, um, you know, birds are arriving at springtime, soon to be summer, and it's uh, breeding season in the northern hemisphere, so lots of birds are arriving. Um, nature marches on. You know, animals out there in the wild don't really know what's going on in the world, uh, at least at the human level, and they're continuing to do what they do this time of year, which is uh, <laughs> pair up and make babies. Um, and it's our responsibility and our mission really to care for as many of those as we can. Um, it takes resources, financial resources. It takes supplies. It takes the support of a lot, a lot of people, thousands and thousands of donors each year. So we appreciate um, those of you who've been able to, to continue to chip in and um, make it possible to do what we do. And we are continuing to do what we do. Um, and we're carrying on the best, the best way we can. It's, uh, it's not easy for us. I know it's not easy for, for anybody else right now. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we have our mission to care for birds and provide education. 
We've got a lot of interesting Facebook uh, stuff and resources for folks who are sort of quarantined at home, uh, activities um, for kids to do related to birds and um, trying to get some interesting information out there from our education department. They're all working too from home and still providing education. So um, we hope that uh, that you'll be able to come and see us <laughs> real soon. I, I don't know when that's going to be, but um, we'll, we'll stay in touch with you through our social media and website and uh, you stay in touch with us uh, and, you know, hit the donate button. If that's the best way you can <laughs> stay in touch, we would appreciate it. Thanks, everyone.